Hey there, and thanks for watching. This is the uh, automation fulfillment and posting video for social posting secrets. In case you don't know how to use a couple of the resources, we're going to go through and, and help you uh, get started fast and show you how to do that so you, you can get it set up and running on autopilot so you don't have to do it manually. And that's one of the big benefits of this. But a, a few of the important notes I want to go through first is there are too many options to cover them all, so we're just going to stick to what we know and use, meaning there are a lot of different varieties of software, you know, uh, social posting platforms out there. And so we're just going to cover what we cover and um, just so you can get an idea. You're, you're, of course, welcome to use whatever you like, but we're just going to go with what we know and use because it'd be way too hard to cover more than that. And then the next thing is, is uh, we're going to cover only the basics because there's, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're just going to cover just the basics. There are uh, a lot of ways to do this business and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you like. So, you know, we prefer simple, especially when you're just getting started out. After you've, you know, get it rolling a little bit, got dug in, then, you know, we encourage you to, to explore you know, some of the advanced posting features that Post Planner has and, you know, kind of see how you can enhance your offering as far as like, you know, for example, we're just going to go over of, of how to do it on a daily basis, like one time a day at the same time every day. And obviously you can get a lot more sophisticated than that. But just for this video, for the sake of simplicity, that's what we're going to cover. And then if you need to, you know, just watch this video a few times. Uh, you know, if, if you're not super tech savvy and this is the first time you're watching it, you may get a little overwhelmed, but, but try and resist that, uh, that, that, that feeling and that fear and just know that, you know, once you do get the process down and do it a couple times, it's really simple, actually. I mean, there's just a, a, a few steps that you have to follow, but think of it this way. Once it's done, it's done. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You know what I mean? And so it, it, it really, uh, it's worth it to go through the process at the beginning. All right. So let's go, let's get started. So the recommended resource that, that we use is, um, you can go to the link of mcplr.net forward slash post dash planner. And that is an affiliate link. So if you don't want to use an affiliate link, just simply go to postplanner.com. And what happens is it's going to take you to a page like this. And so when you go to pricing, I was really hopeful that we could all start off on the starter plan. But what happens is, is to do the bulk upload process, which is critical to automating your, your social posting, you do have to go with the solo plan. Okay. So um, you can just do that. They get a seven day free trial. And then um, like how I started out was uh, they offer it. This is the build annually price. The build monthly price is $29 a month. So you can save a lot if you pay for it annually. But just if you're getting started out and you just want to try and test it first, then uh, then just do the uh, the monthly plan. And it's 29 bucks a month. So and when you see what it can do for your business, then it is uh, it's a beautiful thing. And we are going to go, uh, let me show you. Yeah, okay, good. it's opened up twice here for some reason. Okay, so let me show you, like I've already uploaded, you know, I have some uh, posts already uploaded and we're gonna go through a new, a completely new process or a new set of social posts that we're gonna upload to my account. And so we're gonna start on that now because first thing we need to do is upload images to Amazon S3 and the reason because you know you're using a post right so and you want the images because that's what attracts people and it has the impact so you need to have a way to um, have the post planner software find those images they need to be hosted somewhere and I think post planner can do it a little bit but th this way is just easier and and Amazon S3 is so ridiculously inexpensive that it just makes sense to, to do them there. And so uh, we will go into Amazon S3. And then what you do is this is, I've already logged in on all that stuff. So you just need to log in through the 
uh, console of, of Amazon uh, Web Services and then go to the S3. And then what you'll do is you'll create a bucket. And what I've been doing is labeling my buckets as um, SPK, which stands for Social Posting Kit. And then naming it after that. So the, the one we're going to go in next is uh, for the digital marketing uh, images and, and blog uh, or post blurbs that we have. And so digital dash marketing. Okay. And then, so let's scroll down here. And you want to enable the ACLs. I know it's, it's going to give you warning messages and all that stuff. And that's fine. But... Uh, we still need to do it and then because you need to have it as public access and not block public access because a third party software in post planner needs to be able to have access to those images and so um and that's why we put them all in individual buckets because then it's it's still pretty secure in that regard and then you just click on create bucket okay and so then we're going to scroll down and go right here. All right. So now we are going to upload the images that I have. And let me go to the folder and show you all the images and, and what they look like. All right. Here's a peek inside this folder, Digital Marketing Social Media Post, and the images. And um, you can see how they're all numbered, uh, 001, and then... 104. So there's 104 in this one. And uh, the reason you number it that way is because um, I'm going to show you how to create the um, blog posting blurbs for uh, in the Excel spreadsheet that you need. And so when like, let's say you, you hire somebody to um, create your own blog posts and blurbs and all that stuff in your images, you just always want to make sure that they have them numbered in this kind of sequence um, and depending on how many you have it could you could use the three digit or just the two digit two digit but for this we're going to use um, all of these images and all I'm going to do is drag them over and get them loaded up and let uh, Amazon S3 do its thing so I will pause I'll let it do its thing as it uploads all of these. Let me get it started, I guess, first of all. So this is uploading. Let me pause it, and I'll come back. Okay, as you can see, the um, upload was successful. So all of the files are in here. So that's a beautiful thing. And so what you got to do next is you have to go to click that, and then it, it selects all of them. And then you go to Actions, and you go down here to um, Make Public Using ACL. That's why we had that option chosen before. So you just do that, and it'll say, are you sure you want to do all that? And we're going to say, yes, we do, and Make Public. Again, all right, they're, they're all done. So let me close that. So then now we're pretty good, but we're going to, the next step we need to do is, so we uploaded the images to Amazon S3. So now we need to prepare the Excel spreadsheet that we will be using for the bulk upload process. Okay, now this gets a little uh, tricky in the respect that there's just a couple things you have to do, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. But again, you do it once, and then, you know, once that process is over, then you don't have to do it again. And so, as you can see here, here are all of the blurbs, okay? And we've already got those in there for you, and you can go in there and change them as much as you want. And um, I will also put together uh, an advanced training, um, probably a separate video of how to um, automatically add in a call to action uh, as well. But again, just for this video, we're keeping it simple and uh, just getting her done, okay? 
Okay, so this is the blog blurbs, and then the next column, this is going to be where we put the link to the image at Amazon S3, okay? And that's also why they're labeled 001, because then they match up with this. And then 002 would be here, and, and so on, okay? So what you do is you click on that image, and you just click on the first one. It doesn't really matter, and I'll show you why. Well, click on the first one. It just makes it easier. But then you see this link, and then what you do is you will just copy that link, and then we can go ahead and uh, actually open up a new sheet. And I like just to have it a little bit bigger here. But, and then uh, paste that in there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, you see where it says 001.png, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this .png and cut that out and put that here in uh, that D area. And then here we're going to just do the 001 only and cut that and put that right there. And then we need to, okay, good. So you can see that it's, the leading zeros are gone. So we definitely need those to keep the integrity of the image that we just loaded up. So then what you do is you highlight the entire column, hit format sale, cells, go down to text, click okay, and then re-enter 001, and then it should be there. Okay, and then so what we're going to do is, as you'll see as we go through this, we'll be able to, um, instead of having to copy paste each individual link, we're just going to do it really fast. And you can watch me do this. So you just grab that little corner there and go, what did I say, 104 images? And boom, look at that. They all are there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now you do the same thing because we provided them to you in, in PNG files. So boom, there you go. And now this is the same for all of these images because that's just kind of the root uh, of the image itself. So you go down and boom, okay? So now this is kind of where it gets a little tricky and uh, but again, it's not that big of a deal once you once you do it. But you got to highlight this here, and then go up there to type in some of the uh, uh, this weird ass word. Okay, so in here you can put in the equal sign and then concatenate. I have no idea. Is that, is that correct? I don't know. But anyway, so then you put a parentheses. And you can see where it says text one, text two. So then what you do is this is column B. And so, and you are in the first uh, row. So B1, comma, C1, comma, D1. Then close it off with the parentheses and hit enter. And as you can see, it put all of these three lines together as one. Okay, and then all you have to do, since the, the code is in there, we're going to take that corner and go down all 104 of them, and it'll populate all of them. You see that? So now we need to take these, all of these, and say, so right, hit copy, whatever you want to do, go back to sheet one. But this is critically important here, so you got to really pay attention to what I'm doing here. You can't just paste it. You have to go to Paste Special. Let me see, can I get that more on here? You go to Paste Special and then Values. And as you can see, it pasted all of those. Okay? And if you look closely, it's not the code. Okay? So if you go to 009, you go over here to the other sheet. 
go to 009, you can see that it's got the code there. Okay, so that's what the pasting the uh, uh, paste special and then values does for you. And then you just make sure you save it. Okay, so now this one, is, this is good to go. All right, and so we're going to use this again for simplicity and time's sake. We're going to uh, move on and get this loaded up as the bulk loader into Post Planner. So now we go back to Post Planner. And so you go to, let me get to it, you go to Create Post. And you can see there's already posts here, right, up through July 7th, okay? So you go to Create Post. Right up here, you hit Bulk Upload. And then you can choose the file. Um, so if you're using something else, I think it has to be in Excel for it to work with uh, Post Planner, just so you know. Upload it. Done. Bulk upload post. Post added to planned. So now we said July, where was July 7th was the last one. And so now look at this, July 8th. All of these have just been loaded up. All right, isn't that awesome? I mean, look how simple that is. Now again, remember, this is for simplicity's sake. So there's a lot more that you can do with it that, um, that Post Planner has training themselves you know, on their side of how to get a little more advanced. We'll probably produce more, some more advanced videos once we, you know, um, uh, get rolling here a little bit further down the road. But as you can see, I just have mine going out every day at 9.30 a.m. Okay, and so now, you know, at least there's something there. You know, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Um, and imagine, I mean, look how easy that is. I mean, I'm, look at this, man. I'm like, I'm gonna let this load up for a second. Well, here we go, okay. I'm gonna, I mean, look at this. Look at, and you see how easy that was, right? So we're all the way to October 19th. And here's the other thing. You can recycle these. And so they'll just like keep repeating themselves, you know? And so it's really cool because then, now you can see the power of it and how easy it is to set this up. Let's pretend this is, you know, a, a, a plumbing, uh, a plumber in your local area that you just sold as a client that pays you $250 a month to manage this forum and you take our 90 posts and you put them in here just like we just went through and look how quickly you're done and it's it's over and now all of a sudden this plumber who probably never published on any of their social media now is going to be able to get their word out every single day and to all kinds of different channels. So you can see the, how powerful it is. Now, just for again, the, this simplicity example and for what we're doing right now, I just have mine just going to Facebook right now. So, and let me take you over there and I'll show you what, uh, what the one post looked like today. Okay, and you can see that I'm in my uh, Laughlin Marketing Facebook. You can see it published by Post Planner. Um, you know, did you know, I mean, it, it is a, I mean, it's a beautiful, look at that. I mean, that, that's cool. And imagine you doing this for your own business and then plus you doing it for customers. You know what I mean? These are powerful things that we're doing here to, that's going to help over time get businesses a lot more attention, a lot more, uh, notoriety, engagement, those different things. And as you can see here, I just put a little simple, uh, contact us on here and I just have my website you can put whatever you want um, and th this will look a little bit different than just your normal newsfeed just because I'm inside the admin area of it or whatever but I mean you can just see like awesome like beautiful and then tomorrow morning at 9 30 a new one will, will post up so it's pretty cool but let me show you really fast how um, you can do this contact us and uh, and, and make it super easy Okay, so here we are back here at the 104 digital marketing posts. And um, let's just say that you want to make sure you have a call to action on all of yours. What you can do is it's the same process that we just went through um, before. But So let's copy this and let's just clear all of this out 
for now. And then, um, actually, is that, yeah, that's still in there. So it'll, it'll, it'll still work probably when I input this information. Um, I'm going to, whoops, let me go back there and copy it. Go here and just paste it. And you can see that it's already started to work there, which is cool. But then, so now you can come here and let's say you just want to do what I for marketing help contact us at. There you go. That's a good one. And then you can do the same thing. Go all the way down to 104. All right. And you can see how that is all on there. All right. Now this code, remember, has already been added in there. So it's already automatically put that in there. But you can see that the, uh, let's see here. Oh, the, you see where it's the, the period in four between the, uh, oh, there is no D1, is there on this? Yeah, we don't need the D1. Um, doesn't really matter. But so between the B1 and the C1, you can go in here and do a quotation marks, space, quotation mark, period, and hit enter. And you can see how it added that space in between there. Okay, so you can also just add it here, you know, add a space there and it'll do it. But, or you can just do it with the code or whatever. And again, now I can just simply scroll down and it'll, you see how everything shifted. So for Mark, so, and the thing is, is that you can, uh, you know, like this says the same thing for all of them, right? That's kind of obnoxious a little bit. Um, you know, you can change it up and change your, your call to action as much as you want um, or however you want, but that's just kind of uh, one way to do it. So let's go back here and see where we're at because we may be good to go. Oh, we checked that it's working and we already did that because we went to Facebook and, or yeah, and it is working. So, all right, I think that's it. It's This video is a little longer than what I wanted. I may end up breaking this up and uh, to make it a little more bite-sized chunks, but that is how it works. And you can see, I, well, I really hope you can see how, first of all, how easy it is to do. And then once it's up and running, it just, it's just going to run, you know? And again, uh, and so that, that's truly a, a, a passive income business. You know, once you get a client and get them set up, then it's over. You know what I mean? It's like, you're, you're, you're good to go. And you can recycle those images as much as you want. And, you know, so it doesn't take a lot, you know, I mean, you could do, you know, I mean, like some of our packages just for like marketing purposes, you know, are, are 30 images. So like we have 30 social posting images. So that helps you market your social posting uh, service offering, you know, for, we got 30 of them, 30 days. Well, this digital marketing one, which covers a lot of different digital marketing tactics and strategies. Um, you know, covers 104. And then we got one that just focus on, focuses on lead magnets. That's 30 days. Um, but as far as like a, like a local business client, you can do it. You know, we got like the, the plumber one that's 90, you know, and quite frankly, I don't know how many more a local business <laughs> would need, you know, I mean, just it, it's, you know, 90 and they recycle, you know, four times throughout the year. Is anybody really going to notice that? Oh my God, I've seen that post four times this year. No, of course not. Like, it's not going to matter. If anything, it's just going to help them, uh, you know, that, that repetition, they're just going to learn more about it. So anyway, so I think that's it. Um, and if you have any questions, just contact support and we'll be happy to help you. And if you need any more assistance, again, you can go in here and go to their help desk and really look into how you can, um, you know, take this up, you know, to a more sophisticated uh, business model. But for this purpose, we're just doing it nice and simple. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon.